Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. This past Monday, I released a video where I did a comparison of updating three systems after I hadn't used them for two months. I did Windows 10, Debian, and Arch Linux. And when I was doing the Debian update, at near the end of the update, I had an error message. And I thought I wasn't going to be able to reboot into the system, but I was able to reboot into the system and it worked. And a viewer who watched the video wrote in and showed me how to fix it. So today I'm going to see if the fix works and I'm going to do it on camera. So let's get to it. So this is the video that I'm talking about and that I released this past Monday. Update Arch versus Debian versus Windows 10. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, this is my cat. I have two cats, a mother and daughter. This is the mother. They were rescue cats, and her name is Faith. So this is the part in the video where I got the error message. And if you look right here, it says no space left on device. Cannot write block. MK intra I can't pronounce that word <laughs> failure error processing package so it's saying there was no room and I didn't understand it because uh, this computer it's running uh, Debian 12 it has a terabyte hard drive I don't have any videos or music in it or any large files in it and the boot partition was made automatically by the Debian installer. I didn't manually make it. So I couldn't understand why it was running out of room. So a viewer wrote in and said that when the problem probably is that when you do your updates and the kernel gets installed, Debian doesn't automatically delete the old kernels and you probably ran out of space in your boot partition. And you know what? He was right. So the thing is, is that I live mostly in Arch, by the way. And when you update a kernel in Arch, it automatically deletes the old kernel. But apparently in Debian, it doesn't. And so if you happen to be watching this video or if you decide to go back and watch it, the error message happens at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Now, when I made that video this past Monday, well, let me put it to you this way. I have four computers in this room, but I only have one computer that's hooked up to my camera and microphone with uh, OBS and all my recording stuff loaded into it. So when I made the video the other day, the Debian computer was running GNOME desktop environment and I used desktop sharing to log into it. Now desktop sharing is fantastic in the GNOME desktop environment. It's easy to use and it's fantastic. But today I'm not gonna use uh, desktop sharing. And of course I logged in with Romina. Now, right now that computer, that Debian computer is running the awesome window manager. Still has GNOME desktop environment installed. But right now on that computer, I'm logged into the awesome window manager. And of course, right now, this is my bare metal computer. Well, they're both bare metal computers, right? I'm not working in virtual machines today. They're both bare metal computers, but this is my main computer. And this computer is running Arch Linux with DWM, Dynamic Window Manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into the other computer right into the terminal do an update and see if i can fix it so first i'm going to open my terminal super key enter now i'm going to do a fast fetch and you can see this computer is called mench at dell dash two it's running arch linux and you can see it's running DWM window manager and my terminal is ST. So now I'm going to clear the screen. Now I'm going to SSH into my Dell computer. 
I have an alias here that makes it easier for me to get into it. I call it my Acer 2, and now I'm logged into it. Let's clear the screen. And I don't have fast fetch installed, so I'm going to have to do NeoFetch. You can get fast fetch in Debian, but you got to jump through a lot of hoops. I'm in Debian 12, Bookworm. Now what I'm going to do is clear the screen. So this is the thing. Uh, I'm not an experienced Debian user, although uh, I've installed Pure Debian many times, and I have several videos on installing Pure Debian. And of course, I have several videos on using um, Linux Mint Debian, LMDE. And I also have several videos on MX Linux and Antex Linux. And they're all based on Debian. Now, this is pure Debian. Now, the thing is, the point I'm making is that I never lived long-term in Debian. Probably the longest or the most use of Debian I've gotten in the past, and that was several years ago, was Linux Mint Debian, LMDE. But it's a long time since I've lived in Debian, and even this computer is pure Debian. I haven't lived in it, really. This is like a spare computer. So most of my experience is in Arch Linux. And like I said, when the kernel gets updated, Arch Linux automatically deletes the old kernels. So when I'm in Debian, and even in my videos, when I made several videos on Debian, I always update the system like this. sudo apt update. And it goes through this. Just going to take a second. Oh, so it's telling me five packages can be upgraded. And then I do this. Insert. I just want to see what's being upgraded. Okay, these packages are being upgraded. No kernel. And after that, I always do this. sudo apt upgrade. Now, when you do it this way, and a kernel gets updated, it doesn't delete the old kernel. So I have about six or seven kernels in here. This time, I'm going to do full upgrade. Let's see what happens. So look at this. Let's highlight this. The following packages will be removed. So it's going to remove one, two, three, four, five kernels. And if you don't do the full upgrade, if you just do the sudo app upgrade, it doesn't remove the kernels. But if you do a full upgrade, it, it removes the kernels. Okay. Plus, it's going to add five packages. And actually, let's not do that. Let's do this. Let's do sudo apt update. Just going to go through this again. So it's got, telling me five packages are going to be upgraded. Let's insert it. And these five packages are going to be upgraded. And now let's do sudo apt full upgrade. Hit enter. So it's going to remove these five kernels. Let's hit enter and see if it works. See if I get my update without getting the error message. It's finished. And look at that. The update was done and there's no error message. Got to give it a thumbs up. So let's reboot now. Of course, when I reboot, I'm going to get disconnected from my SSH. That's okay. Let's reboot. Oh, I have to do sudo because this is Debian. <laughs> and it's rebooting. And of course, I got disconnected. You can see now I'm in back into the terminal of my Dell number two computer. And if I do a Neo fetch here, you can see I'm in Arch Linux. I'm in the window manager of DWM. And I'm running the terminal as ST. So I can't SSH into my other computer while it's rebooting. So I'm going to pause the video. Put my passwords into the other computer, log into uh, Awesome Window Manager, and then SSH into it. Now the other computer is on. I logged into the Awesome Window Manager, and now I'm going to SSH into it. So I'm going to clear the screen, 
And so I have an alias to get into that computer. It's called Acer2. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm logged in. Let's just make that a bit larger. And just so you know, uh, when I'm doing SSH, I have a key as well as a password. Okay. And now I'm going to do a NeoFetch. And here we are. I'm in Debian 12. The kernel is 6.1.0-22. And I updated the system without getting an error message. How about that? And let's just do an HTOP. And this computer has four processors, eight gigs of RAM. It's running at 476 megabytes of RAM and it has a gig of swap. And I didn't give it the swap. The uh, Debian automated installer gave it the swap. Okay. Let's just quit out of there. Let's just do a Neo fetch again. And that's it. In this video, I talked about how on my previous video from this past Monday, in my comparison of updating Windows 10, Debian 12, and Arch Linux after not having used them for two months, how my, I got an error message in my Debian update, but I was still able to reboot into it, and I finished a video. And if you wrote in and made a suggestion on how I could fix it, and instead of doing sudo apt upgrade, I did sudo apt full upgrade. And when I did that, I was able to update the system without getting an error message. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.